As gas prices rise, few states are being hit harder than Nevada. Gas prices are continuing to rise. In Nevada, again. we're paying $2 a gallon more than states in the blue. The biggest fear is that prices continue to climb. And the soaring cost of living is at the heart of the race for Senate in Nevada, one of the closest in the country. It increasingly looks like the road to a Republican Senate majority runs through Nevada, and the reason is simple. Economic pain runs deep in this state. Do our ruling elites care about this? Are they addressing this issue? No, they're fueling this issue. That is the Republican nominee, Adam Laxalt. He wants everyone to know that he's fighting for working class Nevadans against the ruling elite and their evil empire. Rich elites, woke corporations, academia, Hollywood, and the media, they're taking over America. That's your empire. We're David, they're Goliath. We're the rebels, they're the empire. It's a compelling narrative, but if you look past the Jedi mind tricks, Adam Laxalt's actual political career tells a completely different story. So a wealthy elite himself, Laxalt has repeatedly used his power to protect corporations instead of people. And he's taken millions of dollars from many of the same companies that are ripping off Nevadans at the pump today. Here are a few things you should know about Adam Laxalt. Laxalt didn't exactly come from humble beginnings. The grandson of a US senator and the son of a DC lobbyist, he is the dictionary definition of an elite. And he acts like one. As Attorney General of Nevada, he signed on to a lawsuit to allow the Koch brothers' political advocacy group to keep their top donors a secret. The Kochs were one of Laxalt's biggest donors, and he later joined them in a bid to block a multi-state investigation into ExxonMobil's role in denying the climate crisis. He opposed the investigations on the grounds that they would stifle free speech. The Koch network went on to use their free speech to reward Laxalt with $2.5 million to support his run for governor in 2018. Oil and gas was his largest industry donor in that race. But even with all of that cash from big oil, Laxalt was rejected by Nevada voters. So he returned to his hometown in DC, where he made more than $2 million working for Cooper & Kirk, a law firm that has represented big oil, Wall Street banks, and a pharmaceutical company that profits off of sky-high insulin prices. Now he's running for Senate supposedly to represent working class Nevadans. I work hard every day to provide for my family and the rising cost of gas isn't easy on us, but that doesn't make a difference to Adam Laxalt. He's too busy earning millions of dollars at his elite Washington DC law firm that represents the very big oil companies that are keeping our gas prices so high. Adam Laxalt criticizing US energy policy and placing the blame on Democrats. Back in the summer when gas prices were breaking records in Nevada, Laxalt repeatedly defended oil and gas companies who were seeing their highest profits in years. My opponent, Senator Masto, has been running ads claiming that his greedy oil executives are taking all the money. And they rewarded him for it. So far this cycle, he's received nearly $200,000 from the oil and gas industry. Laxalt also owns tens of thousands of dollars worth of stock in Chevron. He tries to tell us who to blame, but we know the truth. Laxalt doesn't care about Nevada families. He only cares about himself. So next time you hear Adam Laxalt railing against the ruling elites or the empire, just remember, he's actually talking about himself. The elites, they look out for each other, you know? They're all in one club.